Okay, so uh, hello everybody. This is Baylock, also known as Mike Concho on the Nexus. And I haven't posted in a while. I wanted to take a minute and uh, post up some updates here on my Helgen Rebuilt project. Um, still alive, still working on it, plugging away. So this is just going to be a couple of features, a couple of walkthrough little things here about the construction that is going on in town. Uh, basically, uh, once you play the mod up to a certain point, there's a couple of objectives that you have to complete uh, to get the town to this point to where the workers show up. Uh, and when you do, you've got uh, <clears throat> six workers that will show up and start beating and banging and uh, doing demolition on, on these uh, big debris piles everywhere. So. She's awfully slow to get to work. She's running late. Uh, must have had to put on makeup or something, but uh, she's another one. These two guys here. And we'll yes. go over to this other section, and I'll show you where the other ones are at. Got the other group. They're over here in front of the uh, tower. Right here. So I'm not going to really spoil for you what you have to do to get up to this point, but uh, there is full... Full-blown quest with this mod. Uh, it's not just going to remake the town overnight. There are a lot of hoops you have to jump through um, to get to this point. And uh, once you get at this point, they're working here in front of this tower. The next phase will be this tower will be cleared out, and you'll have a nice little player home. Um, if you notice these banners, these are for a uh, new faction that I've created for my mod. Uh, called the Keepers of Hatu. Uh, basically, in the story, it has to do with uh, the Red Guard War uh, against the Aldmeri Dominion after the Great War. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to really uh, spoil that for you either. You'll just have to play it when it comes out, but it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, these are a couple of guards that I have recruited. Uh, you have to go around to some of the inns and recruit these guards to come back. Right, right now they're waiting for me to go and update my uh, main quest giver guy, uh, let him know that the guards have all arrived. So uh, I'm not gonna go through all of that um, here in the video, but uh, I'm gonna pick up right after that scene takes place. Okay, so we're back in front of uh, our new private tower player home. Uh, and you notice I've got some little greenery out here uh, sort of a little makeshift stable there to keep your horse when you pull up and want to go inside and so forth. Um, go back around here, and as you can see, my guards are now patrolling. Uh, they're on uh, all on separate packages for patrolling. Uh, and again, these are the faction guards, as I mentioned, uh, the new banners here for the uh, keepers of Hatu. Uh, but there are, there will be an option, or is an option. Uh, to either choose the Empire to come and help you guard the town, or uh, if you're playing as a Stormcloak, uh, you will have the option of getting guards from the Stormcloaks. So uh, three different options for guarding the town. Uh, this particular test run through uh, just happens to be that I went with the uh, independent path uh, that um, enables these Keepers of Hatu banners. Um, so let's take a look at the player home. Um, once the guards are recruited and are uh, on their path, uh, they will uh, guard the town basically and, and uh, it's basically different stations they walk around to and uh, then this player home becomes available for you. So we'll go take a look. Okay, and once you come in the door here, you just got a nice little seating area, uh, sort of a kitchen table there to eat off of, and cooking pot, a little bit of storage, so forth. Take a run upstairs real quick. Basically, the upstairs, a couple of bookshelves here, uh, lots of storage. Uh, the way I play, I'm a pack rat, so I like a lot of storage, so there can't ever be enough storage as far as I'm concerned. Um, and uh, got uh, altars here, you can heal yourself if necessary. 
Uh, one cool thing I really like about this, this little ladder goes to the uh, top of the tower here. Uh, I don't have this cluttered yet. I will put some tables and chairs type of stuff up here that you could come and just sit if you want to. Uh, but uh, you got a nice little lookout down onto the town here. Uh, look down there, you can see my guards. Uh, I've got one set of guards that is always practicing at the targets. Uh, Korst is walking around there. I'll show you him in a little bit, uh, training them. And then while they are on their training uh, target packages, the other guards are, are guarding uh, the gates and so forth. So uh, back down inside. And let's go take a look at the lower level. Um, I made this as interactive or dynamic, I guess you will, um, in that as you do certain quests and things in the game, certain things are added to this display room that we're getting ready to take a look at. Uh, I've got a little switch right here. Uh, this display room obviously has mannequins in it, a ton of uh, sword and shield and axe display plaques on the walls where you can uh, put your weapons. And uh, I added this switch. I know everyone doesn't use the vanilla mannequins. Uh, I know there's a couple of mods out there that have mannequins that you can place, uh, hand place yourself. So I, uh, in an effort to try to be compatible with some of those, I just put a switch here, click on that switch, and it enables your mannequins. Um, I've already got my display room down here pretty much uh, filled up just for the purposes of this video. Uh, you come down into the bottom, you got plenty of storage here uh, for weapons and armor and jewelry and jewels and all types of stuff. What I was uh, speaking about, about the interactivity or the dynamics of this uh, player home and display room, like for example, these banners, uh, this particular character, uh, I joined the Empire and played through the Empire quest line in the Civil War. Uh, once you do that, you get an Empire banner enabled. Um, if you become a Thane in any of the um, other holds throughout Skyrim, each time you become a Thane, it will enable a banner here in the display room to sort of commemorate you becoming a Thane in that particular hold. Uh, if we take a look over here, uh, we've got the uh, Companions banner. Uh, basically, when you uh, join the Companions, that will enable. You join the Dark Brotherhood, that one will enable. Uh, you go see the Greybeards, and that one enables. Uh, that one is for when you become a nightingale. Um, over here you have these display shelves. Anytime if you're going through the Thieves Guild quest line and you uh, steal all of those artifacts and stuff that you're supposed to steal, each one of those that gets enabled uh, back in the Ragged Flagon, it will also enable uh, one here in your uh, private display room as well. So it's, it's very dynamic, goes along with what you do in the main quest. Um, I can't remember what that banner. I believe that one might be for Potima when you finish the um, the Wolf uh, Wolf Queen quests. Um, and over on this side, got your basic enchanting setup. Um, made these um, display cabinets here. You can put your uh, bug jars on display. Uh, this one here is for all of the dragon claws. Uh, then you've got your basic alchemy set up, uh, container here for potions, uh, one for uh, poisons and potions, books, uh, all these bookshelves, and so forth. Um, and then back here in the back is a lot more places to display weapons uh, and a bunch more mannequins. Uh, over here on this end, we've got some bows that you can display here, swords. And as we all know, these mannequins aren't perfect. Um, I don't know why he's not equipping his weapon, but uh, he's supposed to be in a uh, drawn weapon pose, but they're not perfect. Um, I don't know why this sword is, but I can fix that real quick. Uh, on these displays, it's a shield and sword display. Uh, some of them are, um, so find the sweet spot. Put your sword on there, then activate the shield display, 
And then put the shield back on there. So no harm, no foul with that. Like I say, there's plenty of uh, weapon plaques, mannequins. So overall, it's a pretty doggone big display room with, with lots of places that you can put stuff. Uh, and with that, we'll take a look in the cavern.